What's going on guys, Gomes here, back at it again with another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today I have a bunch of big, big news regarding content in Diamond Dynasty. Now San Diego Studios just had a live stream earlier today about a bunch of updates that are coming into the game really soon. Some regarding pitch speed changes, others regarding ticket counter and team epics as well which I know you guys are really excited about as I am as well. Now last night I believe we had a bunch of so partners on Twitter tweeting pictures of some like the highest reward like the big diamond card from each such as uh, I know like Ozzy Smith was in there Will Clark and a couple others that they did mention and they did review more in the live stream right now and I will make a video once they're all released but unfortunately right now they are not all released like I know the Red Sox the Yankees the Nationals the Dodgers are not out yet so I'm gonna wait on that video but they did go ahead and tell us how exactly to unlock team epics because I'm sure we were all wondering how am I gonna get hands my hands on some of these cards because some of them do look really good some of them don't look so good but they did go ahead and show us exactly how to go ahead and unlock them so looking at the first screenshot that I went ahead and took we have well for starters, for each team epic, kind of like how some of the legend programs or career arcs, there is a player that you got for free at the beginning. Every single team epic is going to give you a player for free at the start that you go ahead and do some stats with at the beginning. We're going to look at the Baltimore Orioles. That's the one that I saw that they went ahead and showed us on. And we have a rookie, Jim Palmer. He's like a 68. You went ahead and got him for free. And you're going to have to tally a couple of holds with him. So just a little of stats. Um, you can do that in two games because you need two holds you can't get multiple holds in multiple games but that's going to be a very very short thing and i expect all of them to be pretty short pretty simple and you're going to be able to get those done pretty easily next we have three unlocked one or locked ones Orioles all-star closing pitcher, Orioles rookie third baseman, and all-star Chris Davis. He is the grant reward. Now, these are all stat missions, which you guys can probably tell, but being that you have not finished the rookie Palmer yet, you cannot go ahead and really find out what stats you're going to have to do, or you cannot do those yet until you have those cards. So we do not know if those are going to be really complex and really hard statistics to achieve, but I can only imagine they won't be. I would assume, kind of think a lot around the same guidelines as career arc. It really does seem like that kind of thing. It seems like a lot it seems a lot like a career arc mission, um, so it doesn't look too hard, at least statistically, to go ahead and achieve that. But then you see a Baltimore Orioles hitting stat that you have to go ahead and do. Now, it's like 500 plate appearances and a bunch of stats along with that. Not too, too hard. It will take a while, though, for sure. You can only use Baltimore Orioles in doing it, so obviously, I would recommend go ahead and fill your lineup all one through eight obvious well actually your pitcher too because any batter will help especially just to get those plate appearances even if your pitcher's not going to get hit still put in an orioles pitcher so you're going to have nine guys in your lineup and you know you just keep playing games playing games it will take some time but eventually you will go ahead and do that and then of course there's like singles home runs doubles along with that that you have to go ahead and accomplish Next, we're going to see division rival and interleague rival, the Yankees and Nationals. All these are is you have to play those teams versus the computer, I think on veteran or higher difficulty. Not hard at all. Everybody should be able to win on veteran. It's really not too hard. You just have to beat the Yankees one game and beat the Nationals one game. Obviously, it's different teams for each, like the Red Sox. I can guarantee you it's going to be the Yankees for their division rival, but it should not be too hard. Uh, once again, it should not be too hard to accomplish. Uh, next, we have some team exchanges, and you knew it was going to be here. We got some baseball autographs and some bobbleheads, and... Uh, you know, you know how I feel about souvenirs, man. You know how I feel. I didn't expect them to do this. Um, I thought it was going to be hats and jerseys, but they went ahead and threw us a curveball. 
perhaps maybe a knuckleball. This was a wild one. Uh, not really. We all knew there was going to be souvenirs involved, but it is baseball autographs and bobbleheads instead of hats and jerseys. So you're going to have to do exchange points with those. I don't know how hard it is going to be. You would hope since the rewards aren't crazy on these team epics, at least for some of the teams, they probably won't be too many exchange points, but they did not go ahead and show us. But from what I sounded, it might be a little hard. Thick probably, once again, along the lines of a career arc mission. That's kind of how it looks like. It's kind of how it's formed. So I would go ahead and expect something like that. And then finally, we do have a team exchange live series. So they said at the beginning that it is not going to be team collections and it's not. You don't have to collect 25, which I thought it was going to be something that, like that. Instead, it is exchange point. So you'll go ahead and uh, uh, just put in some Oreos, you know, do not put in golds, probably not even silvers. Usually for player exchanges, bronzes are your best option. Go ahead and put in some buy orders for some bronze cards. Of course, this is going to keep the price elevated, keep the price high for like bronzes, comets, which is good. It's actually really good. It helps keep the market kind of in check. And it also kind of really makes packs still worth it because... At the start of the year, they were really worth it. They're still pretty worth it right now, but compared to like last year, packs really, you could really lose out on packs, but they are pretty worthwhile this year. And yeah, that is how you go ahead and do the team epics. And then you see right here for the Baltimore Orioles, their final reward is, well, not the final reward. It's another one of those weird things. The final reward to you that you actually care about is the Chris Davis, but you also have a nameplate and some other stuff that you're going to get. But the big reward is 87 All-Star Chris Davis for the Baltimore Orioles. Like I said, once they do go ahead and release the information, release the uh, cards for every single team, I will go ahead and make a video out on which ones I think is worth it, which guys look good, and just to let you know, every single team's team epic once again. Now, they did say they hope this content update is going to come out on Friday, but they did say, keep in mind, there might have to be some flexibility, there might be some issues, so do not... If they, it doesn't come out on Friday, don't make it a big deal. You know, they're trying really, really hard. Um, so hopefully we get it Friday. If not, I don't think they would release it on the weekend. So it would probably come out Monday. But hopefully all goes well and we can shoot for Friday for Team Epics coming into the game. If you guys are excited for Team Epics, make sure to leave a like down below and let me know which teams you guys are going to go ahead and accomplish right away. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys later. Gums out! Yeet!